granted, these players, let's say Genic won't use Anarchy. I don't know if he cares for CPM. I really don't know. I've yeah. seen him do it. I, I've seen him do it in the past. It's not uh, a crazy consistent thing that he does. I would I would think he would play Nyx here too. And I slip played Visor right away, so I don't know. Maybe he'll skip on Nyx. We'll see. But do we go Abs Visor or Nipple Visor? Like, who do you have your money on? I'm an Abs Visor kind of guy, so... Oh, man, you gotta oh, make it sexy. Yeah. I'm all about hips and nips, so... Oh, uh, you're a hips and nips guy, but you can yeah. see those like little like the little hip bone action there, you know? That's true, that's true. With the abs visor. Got Athena on Genix side, a Galena on Slip side. Who is he going to round out his roster with? A Crocodile Dundee in bright red. Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it. And a Nyx from Genix. There's the Nyx. And let us not forget, this is actually the map in which Rafa first learned that you can throw turrets through tallies. Turns out it's a meaningless game. <laughs> Turns out it's a meaningless game mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything to the completely, world champion. Completely, completely unnecessary game mechanic. <laughs> Get that? That was fantastic. The best moments. But we're going to have a lot more of the best moments coming up as we're getting it into round number three, runes of Sarnath. We got Slip. We got Genic. We're going to come out on top. The world may never know, except for maybe five to six minutes from now, maybe Fight. 10 to 15. We'll see how long this is going to drag out. It's certainly not a blood run match. Round begins in three, we'll never forget. Two, one. I'm thinking Genie's going to lead with Athena here. Fight. Let's see what he does, though. Is that heavy? No, they both led with five. Yeah. Oh, the rocket's raining down. They actually lost track of him already. Slip in trouble. Getting through the telly with 8 HP. Surely the chase will come in, and there's the tickle as Genic gets that first frag decisively here. I think he quite literally got the drop on him, and that was unfortunate for the slip because he lost tracking, and by that time he took like 80 damage with the LG. Now he's stuck out in the courtyard here. He tries to make a move, and the LG again swaps to rockets, and Genic will delete slip. Really clean switch. Really clean switch from LG to rocket there. Great yeah. help, too. Another There's one. A follow up. Uh, Genic Ooh. taking that round real quick. It's almost like Genic has played Quake before and is really Prepare good, and this is a really tough match for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> round begins this is such a difficult map, too. The three, spawns on this map are trickier two, than they seem like they are. One. I mean, there's a lot of players that will round ignore two, their spawn fight. item. Like Genic, let's see if he even takes Mega here. He will take Mega. Look at how fast and decisive yeah, one rail for slip. over there so quickly. Swaps to LG and actually gets oh, the frag well so done. Good. That first rail was really important. Missed with the follow-up, and then he's like, I have LG. Good switch from Slip. Now, if he can just kind of stabilize his health here, he can, uh, he can be in great position. Going up against Athena is tough, though. Very mobile. This map is huge. She can grapple literally anywhere. The timing is tight. Again, for Slip, picking up that heavy. Very good job to maintain control of that. Gina kind of probing around a little bit with the tribal blast. Both players just traded items there. Oh, slips facing the wrong way. Couldn't capitalize on it though. A little bit of a waste of vision. But There's only the if fails to get the frag. Oh, oh great rocket. Finds him. He absolutely needed to hit that and just right on the helmet and blew it clean off and slip looking real strong here. As they will trade items again, he does need some health. If he can get down, he needs to ledge grab. And Genic is furious. You don't want to make him mad. And there it is. There's the refrag. He actually popped invis for a little bit of insurance. It looked like. That's actually that's a smart play by Genic. I don't know. I don't know if it was a tilt play or not. But cleaning up that visor while he only has Nyx left. Super smart. But it comes down. Did enough to bully Genic off. He's gonna try and line up a rocket. Maybe a rail here. Gets good damage on that. 69, my favorite up on the rails as well and finally let it go but slips so hurt he's going off the jump pad and he gets caught out wow wow the rock and the rail will miss peppering him with machine gun well done but genic has the mega to his back slips still in trouble here the rail and the stack is definitely in genic's advantage but going for a little bit of venger rails here Genic is just going to pester him with the rail, I think, for the remainder of the match. And Genic also went down to control the heavy. Slip has been dedicated to controlling that heavy so far, but the item split is far enough away that Slip's going to be at Mega early. It's going to have to be a confrontation. Decent rail, but Slip is super low right now. Oh, no. He's... Oh, blah. There's a rocket down to the eyes in here. Genic 
picking up steam on this round with that Nyx. It does have Ghost Walk down. Not really worried about collecting vials, it looks like. I think the Genix game knowledge here is might have went a little bit underappreciated there. You saw him spamming the nail gun at the spawn point in the corner. Yep. The bait slip out there. Didn't get this Genix didn't get the spawn that he wanted for slip, but so much map knowledge. He ain't no stranger to the spawns here. He ain't no stranger. Yeah, He's done seen timing. a spawn before. Yep. I've seen a spawn once. What? I did a spawn kill once. Ooh, that rail right before going through the telly. It's so demoralizing here. But Wally out there looking for Slip's back. And another rail, and he can push in for this. There's the swap to LG. Slip trying to fight him off with rockets. Actually forces out the ghost walk. Needs to be really careful. Slip looking for him. I don't know how Slip he escaped. somehow escapes. I don't think it's going to last yeah. long, though. And there he goes. <laughs> but Slip is fighting, man. Like, this is not an easy match. And Slip is Absolutely not giving it up not. easy. He's finding a way to brawl, and I think he's making really good decisions here to only try to control one of the major items. He's not really trying to rotate back up to challenge Mega Health. He's kind of like, you know what, I'll take heavy, and I'll hold my ground and try to trap you down here. And I think that's the right move to go for uh, for Slip. Heavy spawn goes to Genic, pops the vision, both players again on the visor. And did uh, Slip actually miss that jump to Mega? Was that purpose? I don't know. He's hailing rockets down this hallway here, but he's taking a lot of rails. It's not a fight you want. Maybe machine gun if you're going to peek, but why peek a rail like that? I'm actually going to switch over to Slip since it's... He's going to set up here. Oh, he missed that rail. Slip is lucky. Slip spamming so many rockets, he's all out. Swaps the machine gun, gets decent damage, but again, he just can't afford to eat these rails as Genic is just, well, railing away, for lack of a better term here, and then switches to LG to finish it off, and that was just... It's unfortunate uh, for Slip taking those fights down that hallway, just eating rails. Lots of rail, and you gotta know that that armor shard, uh, the armor shard up on top side is super tempting, but sometimes you just gotta let it go because you get trapped in a corner so easily. Sometimes he might be frozen, so to speak, so letting it go is very important. Just like that, the, wow, Genic with a swap through the telly there. He's trying to end this. Genix mad. I don't know what Slip did. I don't know if he ate his lunch out of the refrigerator, but Genix wants this over here. I don't think Slip should fight for this heavy. He's going to jump over and down, and wow, a Genix with a jump over flick back rail? I, I don't even know. I was on Slip's. Uh, did he grab Mega, or did he just go all in in that rail? I'm not even sure. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know anymore, but Genix... Uh, takes down Slip, and again, that's a rough matchup. That is, yeah. Credit to Slip for slowing it down there, especially in round two, uh, where he was he was really holding his own, and I think that Genix play elevated in round three, because Genix was like, uh-oh, this guy, this guy's fragged me twice. Yeah. Like, I, I don't take kindly to that, but uh, yeah, shout to Slip, man, not making it easy for Genix, but Genix does take it 3-0. And Genix only picked up the heavy armor twice there, actually, so Slip did a good job of controlling that uh, and kind of not, not letting Genix in. He just ate one too many rails down there i think yeah you should uh try to not do that everything in 